Hello my besties, how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. As you can see, I have some goodies here. Vegetables and some Polish kabasi, the sausage, and some cheese, and I'm gonna make a very good edible centerpiece. I'm sure your guests will enjoy it. Let's get started. We're gonna use variety of vegetables. Um, it's good to use a lot of color, like colorful peppers, tomatoes, cauliflower, cucumber, whatever you like. And then we're gonna need the greens. And I have here whatever's in my garden, kale, arugula, celery. You can also use, of course, leaf lettuce. I'll take you to my garden later on in this video. I'm very proud of growing my own vegetables. Another key ingredient is the meat. And I'll be using today Polish kabasi. Kielbasa is Polish word for sausage. I get mine at a Polish deli, but if you don't have one in your area, you can also find similar products in your local supermarkets or Target. What's great about the Polish kabasi that it's cooked and it's ready to eat. In addition, I'll be using kabanosy. That's a traditional long thin dry sausage. And I'll be using two sizes. These extra thin ones are so good too. My kids call them Polish Slim Jims. So if you cannot get Cabanossi, you use the Slim Jim. They sell them at a Dollar Tree in different flavors and sizes. Another great option would be to use beef jerky. And the last ingredient is cheese. You can use any cheese that you like. I'll be using Colby Jack. And to put this arrangement together, we're gonna need a variety sizes of bamboo skewers, sandwich picks, whatever you have, a container to hold it all together, and floral foam. Recently, I found this uh, a lot of floral foam on sale at a Hobby Lobby. It's important to use the wet foam for this one because we want our greens to stay nice and fresh throughout the whole party. Next, you are going to wash and dry and cut all your vegetables, cheeses, sausage, whatever you're going to be using. And of course, Coco smells something good already. She's here. She's ready to assist. <laughs> As with any arrangement, we're going to start off by creating a green background, right? <laughs> so I'm using kale here and I'm filling in the corners first. Uh, just might have to trim the stems a little bit uh, so they rest on the edge of the container and once you get the corners done you do the sides As you can see, vegetables grow in different shapes, different angles, they're not perfectly straight, and that's fine, don't fight it. Just use it to your advantage, you know? Just use it and let it dictate uh, the shape of your arrangement. It doesn't have to be perfect. And here's arugula from my garden. Uh, it's a little bit funny. <laughs> it's not such a strong leaf like kale but I'm still gonna use it in my arrangement. I think variety of leaves gives it more interest. And here's my scallion, <laughs> why not? <laughs> and here's my celery leaves, they're gonna add some height to this arrangement. Parsley would be another great one here. What an aroma. We are done with the green backdrop and ready to move on to the next step. Wait a minute. When did you catch that? No, nie. Nie możliwe. I have no idea when she grabbed it. I mean, I must have turned around just for a second and she took advantage of that. I mean, <laughs> I guess she knows what's good. <laughs> 
Let's add the meat, whatever I have left of it anyway. <laughs> As you can see, I cut my kabasi in half at an angle like that, and I'm inserting each piece on a skewer and adding it around the arrangement. Next, I'm doing the same thing with the peppers. To add some height, I'm using the longer skewers. Feel free to use some scallion to cover up that stick. Next, I'll be using the smaller sandwich pigs uh, to add some cheese cubes. Now the thin cabanos or the Polish Slim Jims. <laughs> you just add the pick at the bottom and insert it right there in the foam. I'm just adding them around, some standing up, some towards the bottom here. Next, cucumbers. As you can see, I cut them in quarters, inserting them on the skewers and adding around the arrangement as well. You see, you get a different type of texture with the green cucumber. <laughs> and as you can see, I peel them on purpose like that, so still a little bit of skin is showing here and there. That also gives some extra color and texture there. And here's cabanose. The dry sausage is a little bit harder to put them on the skewer because they're dry meat, but oh my gosh, they're so good. <laughs> now the cauliflower florets. Look how pretty. And so as you can see with every different vegetable is a different color and texture and that's what it's all about. Give a nice variety here to create a beautiful, unique arrangement. Of course, broccoli florets would be pretty too. And here's some cherry tomatoes. I definitely need some more height so I'll be making little kebabs here of cheese and tomato. And how about a pepper at the top? How cool is that? And let, let's insert a few of these. And then step back, take a look at all your arrangement and you're gonna know what else to add. I have some more yellow peppers here. I think we need a little bit more yellow and that pretty much completes our arrangement. I think it's amazing. Not only looks great, tastes great too. <laughs> Who wants to try it? Give a hands up. <laughs> We are going to serve it with some dressings. I have here creamy French and ranch. I made this arrangement for all the dads in my family. I think it's a perfect gift for a man. For a woman, you give a bouquet of flowers. For a man, you can give a bouquet of sausage and cheese and all these great veggies, right? <laughs> Question to my male subscribers. Would you enjoy a gift like that? My husband loved it. My dad too, and everyone else. We actually had a double celebration in my house. The Father's Day and my son's eighth grade graduation. You had seen me prepare a graduation wreath for him. And when decorating the table, I got some star plates from the Dollar Tree and I did silver and gold and some grays and then with all the colors of the centerpiece as well. I think it turned out pretty great. And we bake the ham and look at Coco as my mom is cutting it up. She's already standing there hoping something will fall off. <laughs> she is too funny. 
Wait a minute, my mom is preparing a little bowl for her there. <laughs> And of course, I baked my bread. If you haven't tried it yet, look up this video, see how easy it is, because there's nothing better than homemade bread, let me tell you. Plus, my mom's coleslaw, so good. Also, we made some green beans, cauliflower, and everything was just so good, oh my gosh. I know I'm bad, I love to eat. <laughs> you can see the beer glasses there, that's a special touch for Father's Day. <laughs> portabella mushroom gravy, and I forgot I made a big ziti as well. Kids loved it. If you like the idea of the edible centerpiece, you might want to check out also the strawberry centerpiece I made. It was just the cutest thing ever. And now let me take you to my garden. All right, my besties, so this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. And see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.